I'm going to show you how to attract that swarm to your bottle beehive by adding foundation strips to your top bars and baiting the trap. Adding these strips will direct the construction of the comb within the hive so that the bees don't decide to build their comb in a direction that will defeat the removability of the bars. There is much controversy in the beekeeping community over the use of wax foundation strips since the introduction of chemical treatment for mites that stays behind in the beeswax. We can discuss the pros and cons in a future video, but for now I will show you two ways to get your bees building their comb in the direction that we want them to. In a previous video you learned how to make your top bars. From the bottom of your bottle hive the bars look something like this. That is a fresh canvas for your bees. They could decide to build their comb in any direction, but if you give them a starting point, they will follow your suggestion. Remove the top bars from your hive. Take one of your top bars and measure in 7 16ths of an inch from the edge on the bottom. Placing a couple of leftover dowels under the bar will stabilize it. This line must not be under the bee space side of the bar. Then mark both ends of the line 3 8 of an inch from the end of the bar. Measure the length between the marks and record this measurement. Cut a one gallon paint stir stick to that length. Run a thin bead of hot glue down the top bar. You don't want to overdo it with the glue on this step. Align the stir stick on the line that you just drew and press down onto the glue, then let it dry. If any glue seeped out from under the stir stick to the bottom of the top bar, clean it off with a box knife. Flip the bar over and cut the excess stir stick off with your box knife using the edge of your bar as your guide. Take a strip of foundation out of the box. It was made to be installed with the long edge towards the top of the beehive. You cannot simply turn it 90 degrees. Doing so would change the orientation of the cell impressions. Measure across the long edge of the foundation the length of your cut stir stick. Gently cut with a sharp box knife. You can either leave this space the size that it is, or if you want less starter foundation in your hive, cut it into a shorter strip. With the top bar facing bottom up and resting on some of the spare dowel parts, run a thin bead of hot glue down the bar, avoiding the area next to the last strip of wood you just installed. Hold the foundation strip against the previously installed wood strip and down against the top bar. Take the remaining piece of the stir stick and press it down against the top bar and firmly against the foundation, squeezing the foundation between the two strips of wood. Hold the foundation vertical until the glue has set sufficiently so that the wood strip won't move. The finished bar should look like this. Carefully place the top bar back into the bottle hive for protection. Repeat this process for all the remaining bars trying to keep the foundation as flat as possible. If you don't want to use beeswax foundation strips, simply cut an additional one gallon stir stick the length that you would have cut the foundation and press it in between the wood strips instead of the beeswax. The bees will build on either the foundation or the stir stick, but you will reduce your chances of attracting a swarm by not using some beeswax in your swarm trap. If you want to reduce the amount of beeswax foundation material in your hive, you could reduce the amount of foundation hanging down from the bar, use a combination of beeswax foundation bars and paint stick bars, rely on melted beeswax on the inside of the trap bucket, and only use paint stick foundation bars in the bottle. With the foundation on your bars, you are finally ready to bait your trap and set it out to try and catch some free honeybees. Melt some beeswax. Pour or paint it onto the inner side walls of the bucket. Make sure that you get some close to the entrance hole. You don't have to cover the entire bucket. If you didn't use wax foundations in the bottle hive, don't pour any beeswax on the swarm lid trap. You don't want the bees to start building comb inside the bucket. Finally, place a drop of lemongrass oil on a Q-tip. Place the Q-tip into a plastic baggie and drop into the bucket. Don't seal the bag. Instead of lemongrass oil, you can use specially prepared swarm trap lure scent. Place the lid on your modified swarm trap bucket, then gently slide your bottle hive over the magic connecting tube. You are now ready to set your trap out. 
In future videos, I'll show you where to set out your swarm trap and how to build full frames for some of the slots in your bottle hive.